Hello guys, so Jarrett speaking. Welcome LJ Peace Reacts episode number 1150. Today we got to Bonzi Buddy episode number 47. Bonzi Buddy at Longhorn Steakhouse. Now, I've been to Longhorn Steakhouse before, and it's been delicious ever since. It it was a it was a nearby house uh uh steakhouse where it has no peanuts whatsoever. Thank God. And all of God is one of the same places as well. So there you go and that. One of the things I have been through to celebrate my one of those bur mid twenties celebrations. So let's be at this beginning in five, four, three, two, one, go. You watching the twenty five KPR TV. Let's turn that down a little bit. Anyway. Uh, and the following programs take rated TBMA. Uh, follow program to change content possible files, which might not be saleable for children under 17. Viewer discretion advised. Continue on. Hmm. 25%. Um. Bonzi Buddy. Bonzi Buddy at, um. Longhorn Steakhouse. Yeah, you put the possible yes there. Sorry, Bonzi Buddy. Hmm. Written by HAA student Snoggin. Uh. Uh, for, the, uh, for those who don't know, it's a studio from Noggin. It's like, I'll use my Noggin today, but anyway, continue on. Wow. Created by Alex Paris. Okay, I've made sense of all things here. Good afternoon. Mm hmm. It's a brand new year, and I'm ready to start this year on the right foot. I okay. hope you've all been doing well recently. Yeah, I'm doing well, Bonzi. Even though it's the busiest um, LGBT year, it's going to be my next shot in my life, period. And I'm going to do something, you know, that's just me. Continue on. Today I'm here in Rancho Cucamonga to try out Longhorn Steakhouse as requested by one of my fans. Wow. Wow. Continue on. It's been a while since I had a good steak. Let's go inside. Mm. Oh boy. Look at all these options. I'm okay. going to try out the ribeye steak, because I know Alex loves ribeyes. He also told me that ever since he got into grilling, it's been one of his new favorite hobbies to do. If he watches Alex, for you, buddy, continue on. Can thank his father for that. But anyways, mm. here comes the winner. Welcome to Longhorn Steakhouse, kind sir. What can I get you started with? Yes, may I get the ribeye steak, please? And I would like it rare. 15 minutes later. Oh boy. Here is my... <laughs> See you on? Hey, this is burned. Wow. Eh, I'll get severed. He's like, tickle, tickle, tickle. <laughs> Thanks for that. Continue on. The fuck is this shit? Mm. I will not eat this pile of shit. It's... Oh boy. Continue on. I'm going to tell the manager about this. Excuse me, sir, but I would like to make a complaint about this steak. I asked for a rare ribeye steak, and all I'm presented with is this burnt steak that looks like a turd, and I will not eat this steak. So if you could please get me a fresh steak, that would be a great thing to you. Hmm. I am sorry, but we do not serve cooked steaks to angry purple gorillas who have anger issues and think they are entitled. God damn it, we're shit again! You listen to me! I will not leave this damn restaurant until I get myself a perfectly real steak or else I will tell Corporate about this! Mm. Now move it! <laughs> wow. wow. I cannot believe that I got kicked out of Longhorn Steakhouse. Why is it that every wow. time that I go somewhere, somebody has to screw it all up for me? I want to a good juicy steak. Yes! Receive a freaking turd steak. Yeah. A turd mm. steak. A <laughs> dirt steak! <laughs> yeah, I felt worried for you, Bonzi. Continue on. I have to drive all the way back up to Modesto and find something else. Mm hmm. I do not want to ever experience that ever again. Mm -hmm. You all understand? Yes! Good. May hours later. Well, I decided to get some five-star burger since I didn't feel like having another steak tonight. But let me tell you, five-star burger is good. Hmm. Well, I hope you all enjoyed today's show. 
I'm now going to do some things on the internet and then just chill and watch some television. I will see you all in the next episode. Wow. So that was Bonzi Buddy at Longhorn Steakhouse. You know something? It was hilarious and funny at the same time. You know, it's just like how well it's going to take it to make the whole thing make sense. You know, I'm not going to make more, make fun of Bonzi, but you know, it's just more too much, you know. It's just how much you're going to get. Now, before I wrap things up, I have a future now. I have an announcement to make. Um, my We Wednesdays and PS Tuesdays are finally back in production after a long hiatus. Thanks to um for your patience and understanding because my vid box is probably fixed because I was trying to download a software, use it for my um let's just say, let's just say my um. The software I used in the, for 10.12 12, 12, uh, and, and over things like that, higher things like that, blah, blah. And all of a sudden, it was finally ha it worked. So, without further ado, I was going to say, uh, that was, that was just like, my God, I was going to make the, how, how that got work. So, uh, for future occasions, I gotta get ready to finish off Appadition 94 videos on my, main on my second channel. And my first channel will be just We Wednesdays, PS Tuesdays. I'll get that done later on um, in February till April. So be all got for those. So yeah, it's gonna be a lot more exciting than anyone else. So that being said, and that will episode for LGBT episode number 1150. Hope you enjoy it. Stay tuned for the next one. It's going to be for real this time. Um, the, um, um, Dalwab's, uh, podcast episode six. I'm just not, I haven't done reacting this yet, but please be aware because I have never, re I haven't been reacting to those videos yet. And neither is, um, some of the videos that haven't reacted to the 25, some other things yet. But we'll just see what happens. Till next time, so Joe's and Bob's a baby. Good morning, LGB as a So it out. See ya. Giving on to me this life I'll never take for granted. And given all the time I failed to really understand it I never sought to meet the maker of reality The one who gave the life that which is always happening But I tried All the time Was I the one to see things as I do under the moonlight and the sun? Perception is the question, and the giver holds the key.